Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Oh, look what we got on the table here. We got the new Toyin um, FS B400. I believe this is the A version. Yeah, so we're going to take a quick look at this thing. And uh, I'm going to throw down some photos of some things I thought were cool, and I'm going to go over them with you. So grab your favorite smoke beverage popcorn and hang out with me today. Because there's a lot of cool features on here that I see that is a, an evolving thing, which is good. So, anyways, guys, here we go. Okay, we're going to start off. Um, it's a twin carb, okay? Um, it, they go directly right into the, the heads and have a nice little manifold down here. The carbs itself has this really cool stacks to catch any debris. So that's, that's pretty cool there too. And I was excited because I came home and I seen a box on my porch and it was like, you know, it was like a Christmas morning, man. You got to do it, you know. Now, um, before I go over the features, I'll go over the details of their assembly manual, okay, their operating manual here. Now, I'll give you the size and dimensions here. Now, this does not have the exhaust on it yet and I'll get to that but this is the overall dimensions and the power output the bore stroke and uh, I'm blocking the thing there for you and it shows you with the exhaust and the headers put on there so the output is like around 2 PZ which is it's pretty peppy for a little engine like this and um, you know it doesn't have a clutch adapter on the back yet but you know if you read down through this stuff here you'll see the size the length the height and um, all your important things you need to do always read your safety instructions here you know keep your fingers away from the fans and all that don't run them inside don't be me but anyways um, I want to thank uh, Sterling kit team Mona Kai uh, for sending this to me I wanted to get an assembly version but I had talked with them about it and said why don't you give me the running version um, you know I can tear it apart then and the thing is I the reason I did this backwards this time because I always get the kit and throw them together um, some of you people will get them completed and if you want to tear them down or something you know, it's it, you haven't put it together yet, so you know it's it's there. You you have to know how to kind of reverse all the procedures and everything. But uh, some of the stuff that I wanted to get to um, first off, we're going to get to the exhaust system. Um, mine came with the starter kit. Now these headers are three D printed, and they are. The, this is something that was not around five years ago. We had to make our own exhaust systems. Really nice quality 3D printed headers. And a really nice high quality 3D printed muffler with dual outlets. And uh, your headers slide in the back there. And this is all 3D printed so it's hollow inside. And it's pretty cool. That right there, like I said, I was really excited to see the feature of the 3d printed stuff coming with them um you, if you guys know the earlier engines only had just a little exhaust like pipes coming off that you bolt it in now this does come with a complete tool kit okay all your wrenches and all that stuff in there my lights messing up on me there um and it does come with your hardware and all your um gaskets for your exhaust and uh this is the the finished version and now we'll go over the cool features. Now the glow plugs go down in the bottom here. And I'll try to move some of this stuff out of the way here so you guys can check this out. Um, there's, like I say, a couple of unique things <clears throat> that I've seen on here. One was the, uh, uh, the screen filters in the carbs. Now if you look at the carbs, they're just a single um, toy and carb with two stacks and a intake box on there and an intake manifold that goes down to the cylinder head and these are actually um, 
pretty proven designs because of your um, L200s. You know, they were almost identical and they're pretty pretty reliable. And uh, now this one here, you put your headers down underneath here. You bolt them in with your little gaskets. You put your glow plugs or fire heads in here. Um, your starter motor is underneath this. And one of the unique things I've seen, just by observing what I've seen when I opened the box up, um, the starter belt is now, the starter motor is adjustable, and it has a tensioner. So no more over-tighted um, belts. And the reason I like the tensioner is because it gives, you can loosen it up, because this is the tooth belt. And it doesn't have to be cranked super tight. That way it doesn't break the shaft off the starter motor or it doesn't overheat the motor so bad that it burns itself out right away. So, and when thermal expansion hits, when this thing is running and it heats up, all these metals expand at a different rate. And this gives you an opportunity to see how you can have a little bit of, a little bit of slop in there. That's all you need, you know. Now, another thing I noticed, um, of course, the carbs are, they use their typical um, throttle bar there with a threaded hole in the center. It's got a ducted fan in the front that comes down directly on the cylinder heads itself. So it cools, um, pulls the air in through here, blows it down to the bottom, and then out. Now you'll see here the camshafts have notches on the back. See the little notches there? And they do have a tapped hole where it looks like maybe a, a CDI distributor unit soon. So, like I say, these are some of the things I just noticed right off the bat. And uh, even the timing belt, it has a cover on it now. Um, and if you look underneath here, right there, you see this little bracket? with a set screw on each side of the starter motor that right there is your tensioner for your timing belt so you it, like I say the thermal expansion it, it does a lot of damage to bearings and stuff if it's not it, you know if it's not loose enough but uh, so like I say I I was really excited about this um, and like I say I want to thank Dirty Kit Team Mordecai Toying Engine for uh, producing such a cool thing so I, I'm excited to fire this thing up and uh, I'll do that on my next video but I wanted to kind of show you guys the quality of this thing the new features um, and yeah like I say the, the you're gonna have to drill out the flywheel if you want to put a clutch on this thing this is more of a display desktop unit here but you can always convert them you know I I I found my way of doing that very simple so anyways guys we'll just uh i'll get my starter kit out and we'll go from there so anyways stay tuned for the next video i'll fire it up in my next video and i do have a lot of exciting news in my next video too so anyways love to all like share subscribe if you want put your thoughts down below about the engine you know what do you think of the quality the the features, you know, I was really excited to see adjustable belts, um, you know, and, and adjustable starter motor. So it's, you know, it's it, we're, we're on our way to good things here, you know. There, there, all this information is coming together, and uh, now everybody's working together. So, anyways, I'll catch you later, man.